this um, this video is going to be about how do we fit uh, how do we fit into the um, torso the whole digestive system, yeah. And the digestive system, I just want the camera to go all the way up and down this whole long tube. Uh, and just for convention, we can start with the mouth, yeah, which is going to be here, and that's going to be the rectum. Which areas after the mouth would be? What's this area Esophagus. after the mouth? Esophagus. Esophagus. Stomach. Nope. Oh, stomach, stomach. stomach. Now the stomach is just going to be a widening of this bit. But it's really just a bit out of the, the whole tube. And after the, small in, after the stomach is the? Small intestine. And this is really long. And the small intestine is quite narrow. And then after that, going to be the? Large, large intestine. intestine, which will be wider tube. Yeah? And that's the end of it. Okay, so let's start. And we're going to, I'm going to come, ask you to come closer. And I hope we can <laughs> get into here. But let's say that, oh, how do you fit this one in here? Okay, let's say that. Okay, right, big mouth. <laughs> Yeah? Cool. All right. So we're having the esophagus, right? Oops. <laughs> Sorry. We might need to do that. <laughs> it always happens. <laughs> I think there is a 5,000 5, uh, pounds worth uh, dental work in here. Okay. So. Can you feel the esophagus? What do we feel here in front? Is the windpipe. So the, there are two tubes in here. One goes to the lung, which is the front. And in between this one and the spine, there is the esophagus. So the esophagus actually is quite flat and you can't feel it because it's behind the front tube. Yeah? So when you feel the tube in front of the throat, it is actually the trachea, the windpipe. Yeah? And it goes to the lung. And behind that is the esophagus. So the esophagus goes to here and then we have the stomach. The stomach is around here. Half of the stomach sometimes is behind the, the ribs, yeah? So sometimes you can't feel the stomach at all because it's behind the ribs. What structure is a really thin structure <coughs> is around here, all around here? The diaphragm. The diaphragm. What is a diaphragm? It's a muscle for breathing. Mm -hmm. So the stomach goes up and down, really, with the diaphragm. Yeah? So whenever you breathe in and out, the stomach goes up and down. Can you think about what's the problem when you're sitting? How do you squash your stomach there? And you can see how sitting may not only be bad for your posture, but for your digestive system. Okay, so the stomach is around there. Let's put it here. Now what happened after that? We have the... Small, small, intestine. small intestine. Now I'll tell you what's the problem here. Okay, let's take the small intestine, okay? And let's leave it there. Oh, should we try again? <laughs> so where are you going to hold all these, what was that, 10, 10, meters. 10 meters, about 7 meters? You have to hold about 7 meters of tubes somewhere. Any suggestion where are you going to do it? Why are you going to hold this whole... You have, you have muscles. There. You can use the muscles. Anything else you can kind of frame it into. Skin is... 
not very strong. Organs. But, uh, well, this is the organs. You can put it on the pelvis, but the pelvis is low. When you put a, um, a picture, you need to put it somewhere above, right? You have a, a membrane, but it's abdominal wall. Right, where? Give me the organ name. Where, where are you going to frame it? Where are you going to hold it? Where are you going to put the nail? My friend is stomach. Well, this is a stomach. Can I have some collagen fiber, please? And, okay, so this is the, let's cut. This is, remember the fascia? Thank you. Remember the fascia? Yes. Yeah? Where did we meet the fascia before? Around the muscles. Around the muscles. Yeah? Where else? Yeah, what's the name of the fascia around the bones? Periosteum. Periosteum. Fantastic. Yeah, where else? Muscles, yes. The joint capsule is collagen fiber. Yeah. And here, we'll see that we have pretty much the same thing. That will do. So actually, your most of your abdominal muscle, abdominal abdomen, are attached to the spine. spine and the ribs. Yeah. So you see why someone with, say, pregnant lady, the whole thing goes forward and they have backache, or someone with protrude abdomen. Or someone that they um, they uh, they have a weak back muscles. It's just drug and increase the what's the name of this curve here? Yeah, the lumbar lordosis. Yeah. So do you see the link between those two? Yeah. We'll take everything in here and put it nice and neat. We have about say ten meters of worth stuff around here. And then after that, we have the large intestine kind of going around here and creating a U-shape, a U-shape around the whole abdomen. And if I would be neat, like nature is, then the rectum would fit in right in front of the sacrum. Yeah? Right in front of the sacrum. So, yeah, a problem, isn't it? How do you fit all of these? Uh, you need to find a, a, a body, a, a frame, and the frame that's used to hold all our abdominal content is, are the bones around. And there are still some ligaments from the digestive system into the ribs and into the ribs here. But majorly, it's all attached to the spine. And you see then the correlation between spine, abdominal, and posture. Yeah? Somebody whose posture is forward because of the abdominal, cuff, abdominal digestive system will have problem. Any question? Okay, it's kind of new to you, isn't it? This part. Okay. I think it's important to envision and see how it works. Now what we're going to do is look at each area and see what's the mechanism that works there. What exactly happened when you take a bite of a sandwich and then what happens at the end to it? You know, energy uh, or waste product removal. Cool? Yeah, cool. Fantastic.